Hello, in this tutorial I would like to show you a method how to create a button with Photoshop and with Swishmax build. Alright, so we will create buttons like this. A moving button, right? So first of all, let's create a snapshot from this desktop with print screen for example open a new photoshop and insert that right let's select these parts and make a crop select the button size and use the crop and here are the layers we want a background a black color background we want another background if the user roll over for example brown and set the opacity into a lower and let's color right so that will be the rollover background and add another layer and create a rectangle with this and color it into red or you could use the gradients let's press the shift left shift and that gradient will inline this is it and let's zoom a little and if you press the space button you could go somewhere in this image let's select and draw a layer lighter color You could use gradient too. This is it. Nice, right? So this is the layer of the upper element. Let's duplicate it. Right click and duplicate. OK, let's use the layer moving object and select that layer and go to down, use the Margo tool, right click, free transform and rotate this layer or you could use what you know to rotate this is it so what we have now two backgrounds and two moving elements let's save them into a folder separately that will be the first background save for web and use the PNG and select the transparency this is one 
right select another background these layers will link into copied into say for web add the name to and hide these layers and select the upper one say for web add the file name and select the fourth save for web add the name and this is it so these are the images of a button let's go to the folder here you can see that and open a new Swishmax movie so this is the Swishmax creator flash creator and drag and drop the background and you can see the background is smaller than this Swishmax movie right select the movie skin and set to the same size you can see its size if you right click use properties and this is the dimension now these are equal right you could set its values into there let's select another background for example black and drag and drop the another elements and get them into the right position nice so what we have now a moving element they will sliding and add a text you could resize it with these green points If you want to add another name, you could use it with the, with this text, right? So you could see here the timeline. If you add a movement, you must add here. First of all, let's select another position to that text. Drag and drop, and put back to these moving elements and they are closing each other